The dry coating is what you have to have to get hypo to work. The important thing to realize though is that water leaving the balloon is a reversible process. It can leave, it can also come back into the balloon. So a couple of things to be aware of. If you have a high float treated balloon that you've kept inside your house and you've let it dry and you take it outside in a very humid environment, there's water in the air. That water is going to go right back into the balloon. It's gonna wet the high float. You're gonna have wet high float in the balloon and it's not gonna prevent the helium from escaping. Another thing, the water has to evaporate. If you have a high float treated balloon and you take it outside, I think right now in Kentucky, it's about 15 degrees outside. If you take that balloon outside in 15 degrees or you put it in your car before the high float is dry, the water will not evaporate. It will stay wet, the high float coating will stay wet, and it won't prevent the helium from escaping. Basically, the key to getting high float to work and the way it works is you have to put the wet high float inside the balloon and then keep it in climate control conditions where the water can evaporate over the course of a couple of hours and give you a dry coating inside that balloon.